Good morning, you RV crazies. Welcome once again to the Motorhome Experiment. We are on the road and heading down to Laughlin, Arizona. Obviously, we've got the Hamptons here. Only, half of the Hamptons here. The other half is back there. And uh, we're going to go down to the RV Resort, do some touring of that and Oatman and all kinds of stuff. So come along for the ride. We made a quick stop at Rosie's Den and we're jumping in the coach and back on the road again. Okay gang, so we're rolling to Kingman, Arizona before heading across Route 66 to Oatman. But coming to Kingman means... Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel, that's right. I don't know if it's a coincidence that crack is in the middle of their name but Cracker Barrel is like our breakfast crack. And uh, so we always usually stop there for breakfast when we come through. And it turns out that the Hamptons are also addicted to the Cracker Barrel. So, Cracker Barrel it is. Yes, we've arrived at Cracker Barrel. It's heaven. What do you think, Richard? Something really nasty, greasy, and unhealthy for you? <laughs> oh, they got a lot of great food here. Come on now, this is our favorite spot. Doorman, you need a tip? Uh oh. All right, breakfast has been done. Richard's got some new sunglasses. Yay. We're gonna get a quick stop at CVS for those. Off to Oatman. Yeah. Oh, that, is that there? That's a pretty wide car. Oh, really? These are wide. Yeah, they're about. They're gonna get. Like crazy type. Okay, gang, we're on Route 66 between Kingman and Open. Now, this is not for the faint of heart, as you'll see by the other video that's going to be running here in a little bit. A lot of switchbacks and stuff. Our coach is 34 feet. I wouldn't recommend it for anybody probably over 30 feet. But uh, if you're, you know, if you're really comfortable driving and all the switchbacks and stuff, you'll be fine. Just take your time. If you're towing a vehicle, you really want to think about not going this way because you have areas that you may get your hitch caught up because of the dips and things in the road. So just be conscious of that. But absolutely gorgeous drive. If you're going to open at all and you can get a chance to either leave Oatman on Route 66 to Kingman or come in from Kingman on Route 66, I recommend doing it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's going to be Whoa. tight if somebody is like coming the other way. They just, yeah, hopefully nobody's flying. I hope that thing is recording. Can you double check that, Lori? Make sure it's recording. Look at that, guys. Wow. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. Yes. Holy crap. How awesome is that, huh? Okay, so we've all stopped and we're going to jump out of the coach here and take a look. We're on Route 66 between Kingman and Oatman. And check this out. Oh, 
wonder if you can see the road so people can take a look. Oh. Where this girl has been. Let me, well, I'm going to try and show you guys the road here, but I don't know if you'll be able to see it from here. Coming. Okay, there's a little car coming. He's around here somewhere. And that's, close. And that's yeah, that's the road there. But you can see and you can see it going down here. I can't, I can't even see it in the camera, but you can see the curves going down there and down there. It's just absolutely gorgeous. What do you think, guys? I think it's beautiful. I think it's very cool. Was that, did, did that make you a little nervous? Well, a little bit, but you know what? You're such a great driver. Oh. And we've been in the RV before. I paid I, her to say that. <laughs> we felt very safe. <laughs> He's very careful. Oh, you to say that he's a good driver? Yeah. He is a good driver. What are you talking about? <laughs> now, check this out when you come up over the hill. The other oh, side. Wow. Now you can see parts of Laughlin down over there, and we're 50, 60 miles from Laughlin. pretty pretty sure that you're uh, you're okay being behind the wheel because very tight corners switchbacks and uh, you're looking over the edges of the cliffs so you don't want to be scared when you're behind the wheel that's for sure Older. wow honey it's busy it is busy there's an RV in the right yeah the fifth wheeler yeah well holy smokes the fifth wheeler's got parking two dollars that's pretty cheap. But where yeah. do you park in there? They're not gonna. No, they're not gonna let you park there. No. Look at this car on the left. Yeah, that's a uh, that's the Polaris. Canon, isn't it? No, that's the slingshot. Damn. Oh, wow. That's what's the reaching, Polaris. Reaching them, right? Yeah. Right here, if you want to on the right. right here. Um. Can you park like there? No, yeah. Nobody's... Well, we can't park here, but if you guys want to jump. You don't mind if we park right here and block your view, do you? <laughs> Y'all have a good day. Bye, girls. with Mr. Crazy. Hey, I want to tell you what, we about two weeks ago, he parallel parked this thing. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that in my life. Yeah, Oatman isn't exactly the best place to be able to, to park an RV. So uh, we did the best we could with what we had.
So we dropped the girls off in town, went and parked, and then now we're gonna wander on up into Main Street here where they've got the gunfight going on because obviously somebody's pissed off at somebody else, so they're shooting at each other. Isn't that what the Old West is all about? running around actually Lori almost let one into the restaurant there as you saw but cool little town what I did yes she did you guys saw it it was on yes, video she did. Yes, she actually did. I believe I saw her shut the door in its face before it followed oh so in. the poor bro was trying to go in for food and Lori slammed the door in its, in its face, face. Yeah. nice so we knew it was win. one of the other exactly. so she can't win either way so right now Oatman is absolutely packed it's spring break and it's packed if you really want to see it busy though, you got to come down here during bike week in Laughlin and it is an absolute zoo. But caveat to that is don't come here during bike week if you don't like motorcycles because it will be absolutely packed. But it's really cool at that time of year. Very fun. Cool little town. dropped Cheryl and Richard off at the front door of the Avi Resort. Now we're going to head over to the RV Camp Resort or RV Resort and get it's, it's a KOA. And we're going to get settled in ourselves. Now we're going to come back over here and do some pool time. Everybody chicken in? Yeah. Please pull forward. Laundry parking. Yeah, we can't. Oh, so it's this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no grassy about this. You wanna go and see the switches? Well, you too. Well, let's call down there and find out. Okay gang, I gotta show you what just happened here. We're just checked into the KOA. Hopefully you guys can see this on my reservation. Let me see if I can show you this. I don't know if you can see this. It says, back in, full hookups, 50 to 30, 50 and 30 amp cable Wi-Fi. These deluxe sites back up to a beautiful grassy area where you can play ball and have a picnic. So again, I don't know if you can see that. That's what we got online. We ordered a back in spot that's a grassy area. Now. Here's what happened. Okay. You can see the site here. This is the site we wound up with. Okay. Deluxe site, grassy area, back in, site nine, site 935. I'm gonna show you where they put us first, trying to tell us that it was the same site. I very rarely complain about a lot of stuff, but we checked in today. They told us to come out and pull into a spot. I believe it was 924 is the spot they told us to. So we came in over here, through this entire dirt lot, pulled around, come through here. And this is the spot that they told us to come into, 9, 924, right there. You drive through the spot and out the other side. This spot here, this one I was just showing you, is what they just told me was a deluxe back-in spot and that I was actually asking for a different spot. This is their deluxe back-in spot to a grassy area. 
you know, I, I called the office. I said, I think we're in the wrong spot online. I reserved a deluxe back in, which is supposed to be grassy area behind. They actually came out and told me, basically told me I was wrong, that they had put me in the right spot to begin with and that the spot they were giving me was a different spot, was a spot where I, I hadn't paid for. Look, customer is not always right, I get that. The customer actually is rarely right. Most of the time the customer is wrong. There's certain times where even if I was dead wrong, even if I was in a spot that uh, I should have been and I was mistaken, that's what they should have come out and said, okay, sir, no problem, we'll get you into this other spot. It's gonna be X number of dollars more. It's going to be, you know, we don't have any of those. There's been a misunderstanding. But no, basically she came out and told me that, that I was being unreasonable and that I had asked for something that was completely out of line. I just don't understand that level of customer service. It's crazy. Now, this is the spot we are in now, 935. And as you can see, the only way that you can get into this site is by backing into the site. There is your grassy area behind the RV. This is exactly what we paid for. Imagine that, exactly like the description. This, this is exactly like the description. It's exactly what we had asked for and expected. So for them to say that that Here's was the in the end. Here's the map. Oh, here's the map. Okay, so let's Not see. Not lying, it. they gave us 924. If there is a number up okay. here. That's the spot that they gave us. That is what Paul show you there. And that was supposedly a back end site with a grassy area. Here is where the grassy area is, right here, with the back end to it. And this is where we're backed into now. Really annoying. Okay, now relax. Let's relax. Have a good time. Yeah, the, the girl at the KOA didn't take to us asking for her name very much. It's time for us to kind of calm down a little bit because she was mean, just a mean, angry lady. Angry person. Well, this probably won't be the last time we'll ever come here. Not yet. Mm. We're really living our that, life. Yeah, I don't think I will stay here again. So that's it for today, gang. We're winding down our day, just leaving the Avi Resort, actually the hotel area. And we're heading back over to the campground where Laurie and I will be staying for the night. Sleepy Thanks for watching, time. guys. Sleepy time, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe so you'll stay up to date on some of our other adventures. And we're gonna have more cool stuff coming up. I've got some new video things that we're gonna be doing. So that's exciting. And we'll talk about that again soon in another video. But hopefully you guys will stick around, see some other videos. Subscribe, take care, see ya, have a great night. Bye. Bye. This old girl is parked. <laughs> oh, I gotta love it.